Hello, this is Poso, and welcome back to Let's Play Kodokas! See, to do a better impression of Poso, what you gotta do is like me, you gotta bite your tongue really, really hard. Take out a good chunk if you can, and then you'll talk just like me! No, no, just kidding, viewers. Although I did bite my tongue really hard this morning, but, uh, ow, that hurts. And before uh, checking out Termina, though, let's check out some of the other little side areas that we got around here. We got Shadow Forest. None shall pass. Well, come on, Lena. Whack him upside the head with your frying pan. What do you mean he took a frying pan antidote? Nuts. Okay, well, there's nothing we can do there. I'm sure nothing important is going on there or anything like that. Let's check out Viper Manor. This is where all the dragoons are from. I'm sure they'll, you know, maybe I should just turn myself in and they'll tell me what they want. Well, yeah, I can see by the gigantic snake on your uh, gate here. Oh, uh, I guess these guys aren't going to let us in. Maybe we should try climbing our way in. Okay, well, I just wanted to show you that, so uh, let's head to Termina now. We got a lot to do here. This is a pretty big city. Uh, not as big as SR, but still pretty big. A uh, lot to do here, including a secret project I have in store for you viewers. So, But soon enough, let's take a look at what's going on here. Well, we got a bellflower. I guess that guy's looking for one. Oh, he's one of the dragoons. Let's kill him! Or maybe not. Oh, he's just a uh, private, huh? Okay. Oh, sorry, I spoiled his rank five seconds before he said it. I'm sorry, I forgot, viewers. It's not like I spoiled his name like I did with Kid earlier. Oh, well. Hmm, apparently he doesn't seem to know much about what's going on. Oh, well. I guess he's no one important. Nope. Not important at all, viewers. Let's change the beat a little bit. Ah, that's more like it. This is what I was talking about. It's much more lively. Well, who was that guy, huh? Glenn, huh? No, it is not the same Glenn as in Chrono Trigger. So, forget about it, viewers. Well, it makes me feel my age. <laughs> After having played Chrono Trigger all my life. Oh, well there you go. Sun dried, huh? Yes! Yes, it does make you a bad person. Okay, well nothing interesting over there. Let's check out the inn. Maybe they got some tourists around here. Oh, yeah, this is just the same as any other inn we've been to. Inns just restore your HP for now, so it's not really useful. But they'll serve another important purpose later on. I don't think there's anything in the left room there. I think that's the room where you would end up staying there, but... Huh. Okay. Let me in! There we go. Not too many items here, but a lot of people to talk to, so... Hi-ho! I thought that's what the uh, dwarves used. Maybe Pierre is a dwarf. Huh. Okay. Well, thanks for the recommendation. Oh, maybe we should get a boat ride from that guy. Explore the city. It looks like they got like... Oh, well, we haven't seen it yet, but... They have little canals going around here and stuff, so... It's a very nice and beautiful city. I like it. I like what they did with this place. Oh, and there's Kit again. God! What, did you turn into uh, Yuffie now? Or Yuffie, or however you want to pronounce it? Stop correcting my pronunciations, viewers. What's a Sheila, anyway? I mean, I could guess, or maybe make an Army of Darkness reference or something, but, uh... What do you mean, a tender moment? We're going shopping! Oh, well, I suppose for her that's a tender moment. You know, she's dragging me along with her, but, uh... Eh, whatever. Why is Kid even remotely jealous? She has no idea who I am. I, I don't know, viewers. You got me there. Okay, well, nothing we can do with Kid there. Let's talk to some of the people at this shop. This is the Element Shop here. Lots of good stuff here. Well, yeah, you don't have a good Element Grid. Huh, 
What kind of elements, huh? Oh. You're not gonna tell us, are you? Okay, well, Lena needs to do some shopping here. And I'll bring in Mojo later, so, uh, don't worry, viewers. You can get a little bit of, uh, extra dialogue here with Lena. Oh, yeah! He's my cousin! I knew it, I'm surrounded by assholes! Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I guess so. Let's see what happens if I say, uh, no. I am her boyfriend. Well, Lena doesn't say anything? Oh, Lena doesn't say anything interesting, huh? But thou must! Yeah, yeah, I'm just her cousin. I'm not much of a blonde guy, uh, whatever your name is. Lisa? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Forgot her name two seconds after I met her. Oh, uh, okay, I guess Lena has to, uh, pay her for something, so... Yeah, piss off. Okay, now there's quite a few elements that I want to buy here, so I'm going to take care of that and, uh, be right back. Okay, I got everything that I needed here, so let's see what we got. They sell um, new consumable elements that uh, cure various status ailments. I got 15 of each of them, but uh, you could get away with only ointments and antidotes. Those are the only two that I'm really worried about. Uh, I don't think I've ever been inflicted with flu, and I can only think of one instance where I got sprained, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, poison and burns, that's all I really care about for the most part. Now, one thing that I did with purchasing elements, uh, a little, not really a challenge, but just to make things interesting, I'm only allowing a maximum of one of each kind of element per character. So, like, instead of loading up on ice lances, you know, a character, I'm only going to allow them to have, like, one aqua beam, one ice lance at the most. That's it. You know, just to get a little variety in my characters. So, basically, as a result, you really never need more than three of any element. So basically I bought three of everything. Fireball, magma bombs, bushwhackers. Uh, apparently my state isn't the only place that sells Democrats. And various other color elements. They don't sell white or black elements here unfortunately, but yeah, three of everything ought to do. Uh, oh, we're going to get another magma bomb later, so uh, don't worry about that. You don't need to buy... Actually, you pr there's probably other elements that I didn't need to buy three of, but Whatever. I mean, that's that's fine. Let's head on to the back room here. Apparently, they uh, live where they work too, just like everyone else around here. Yeah, she has bazooms now. After growing up, you know that, that's what happens. Oh, can you tell us how to get in there? Uh, what happens if I say no? Let's find out. No, no, not really. Oh, okay. He says the same thing, I guess, either way. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, how does that happen? Okay. There's a hole in the tree, huh? Oh, an underground waterway. Like a secret passage to Viper Manor, huh? Well, that's one way of getting in there. wonder how many other ways there are of getting into that place. I'm sure he does like his mushrooms. Sounds a little, uh, odd, but that's okay. Okay, well that's everything we can do here, so we got a lot more to explore in this place. This place is a lot bigger than Arnie. Let's not go upstairs yet. Let's check out the bar and get drunk! And talk to other people at the bar, maybe get into some fist fights or something. What is a frozen flame anyway? Is that like, a? Uh, Block of ice that you light on fire there? I've seen one of those. That's pretty cool. Huh, okay. Oh, I I'm sure you will be. Just keep on drinking. Keep on believing that. Oh, yeah, you better watch out for that. Run, run, or you'll be well done! <laughs> Oh, yeah, especially when you're at the bar. That's what you do here. Miss Riddell, huh? Who's she? Oh. Oh, that's no good. I, I guess so. Uh, let's compliment her. Why not? Ah, uh, there you are. Not too many tables here at this bar. 
Or Dragoon Davis, huh? Or Divas, whatever. Huh. Well, let's see if I can get a drink from the barkeep here. Oh, oh, okay. Well, then again, I am 17. Did they even have age limits on alcohol back then? I mean, like, well, this is 1020 AD, but even like hundreds of years ago, did they have age limits? Of, I don't know. I mean, I, I've never tried to order a alcoholic beverage. Never really got into that. I'll be honest with you, viewers. Huh. Well, let's see if there's anything else interesting to do here at Termina. And who is that guy over there? He looks familiar. Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!